It is time again to keep your eyes to the sky. Earlier this month, Venus and Jupiter got very close mm -hmm. to each other. Did you see that? I did not. It was pretty awesome. Was it like in the middle of the night? Well, that's when you best can yeah. see it. Yeah, so no, yeah. I didn't see it, Brian. Oh, no. <laughs> Just got to step outside. <laughs> it's pretty spectacular, by the way. If you didn't get to see it, if you did, you probably yes. saw that. Too. Did hear that. Some other planets will now be joining them. Sophia Bliss explains what's going on and what, where you can look. Five planets are aligning over the next few nights. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus. They're all going to line up more or less along uh, a path in the sky. Um, and so if you get out under a clear night sky over the next couple of days, you'll have this really spectacular view of the planets in our solar system. Dr. Brian Jackson is an associate professor in the physics department at Boise State University. Jackson says all the planets orbit the same plane, so you should be able to draw a line from one to the other but it will be a little less of a straight line and more like an arc. For the most part, everything's going to be kind of toward the south, a little bit toward the southwest. Jupiter and Mercury right now are very close to the sun. So if you want to see Jupiter and Mercury, you're going to need to look just after sunset. They'll be very close to the sun on the western horizon. Uh, and then if you look up kind of toward the upper left, you'll see uh, a very bright star in the western sky. That'll be Venus. And then very close to Venus will be the planet Uranus. For folks down here in the valley, kind of in the bright part of Boise, probably not going to be able to see Uranus from the city. You'll need to leave um, down to maybe Marsing or even further south than that, Murphy, to get out of the light. And then you might have a chance of seeing Uranus. Venus will be very easy to find, though. And then very close to the moon, you can see the planet Mars. Jackson adds the best time to see this alignment will be within a half hour of the sun setting. Jupiter and Mercury will be the first to disappear. Venus you'll probably see until around 1030. And then Mars you'll probably be able to see until around 3 a.m. So to clarify, even though they should all be visible around sunset, they may be hard to spot at the same time. Folks won't need any special equipment to see the planets. That's one of the good things about planets. You can see them with your naked eye for the most part. Uranus is a little trickier because it is dimmer. So if you have a telescope or binoculars, you might want to use them to catch Uranus. And there again, you want to be outside of the city to see it. You'll be able to catch this alignment over the next few days, but the peak is Tuesday. Jackson says the next time an alignment like this will happen is 2040. But the planets are going to be very close to the sun at that time. So weather permitting, this year may be a better time to spot them. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Sophia Bliss. So if you are interested about learning or learning more about astronomy, an opportunity is coming up. Boise State has an astronomy event the first Friday of every month. So you got lots of opportunities. Right. The next event is going to be April 7th at 7.30 p.m. The guest speaker will be Dr. Christopher Carroll from Washington State University. He's talking about his research on galaxies. Dr. Jackson also says if the weather's clear, they'll even take people up to the observatory to do some stargazing.